I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A tabloid headline at the supermarket checkout line last week claims that Kenny Rogers ruined my life. Well, if the lady's name is Lucille, then it's her fault because she's the one who left him. And a fine time she did, too. You picked a fine time to leave me, Lucille. Beginning next year, McDonald's will be using fresh beef in their quarter pounders. Translation, what you're eating now is past its expiration date. A company has released what is purported to be the world's strongest coffee. It packs over five times the caffeine power of a normal cup of coffee. It's so strong, in fact, that during testing, not a single person fell asleep while watching the new Chips movie. A 20-year-old woman in St. Louis has been banned from Tinder after making hundreds of dollars because her profile said, send me five dollars and see what happens. Uh, so she's banned for taking advantage of gullible idiots? That's what the Home Shopping Network does. They, they still have their own cable channel. An American Airlines pilot died in the air right before the jet landed Wednesday in Albuquerque. Fortunately, the emergency blow-up co-pilot was available to take over. A teenager in China who suffered from headaches was horrified to discover they started because of a worm living inside his brain. The four-inch-long parasite entered Wen Xiaoli's body as a larva when he accidentally cut his hand and traveled up through his body to live in his head while it grew into an adult. It had been there for two years by the time doctors operated, opening up his skull so that they could pull out the worm, which was still wriggling. Neurosurgeon Yang Ziquan said it was alive, it was still moving inside the brain. The operation was not easy and came with risks. Dr. Yang said that's why we had to pull it out slowly and carefully. Fortunately, the teen is doing well and now recovering. Amazon is shutting down Diapers.com and other less-than-profitable sites that they own. Why, you never heard of Diapers.com? Well, that's probably why they're shutting it down. Retired Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, who briefly served as National Security Advisor to President Trump, is said to be seeking immunity from prosecution in exchange for testifying to those conducting investigations into the president's ties to Russia. Uh-oh. Uh, Nixon's people they didn't start asking for immunity until five or more years into his presidency. Police in Melbourne, Florida are looking for a woman who allegedly tried to pay for items in a store using what authorities described as an old, dirty jar of pennies before getting into an argument and threatening to kill the store clerk when he rejected said payment method. The woman left the store and returned with two guns, which she bought at Walmart using an old, dirty jar of pennies. Another couple you may not be aware of, Sir Tom Jones and Priscilla Presley. So Priscilla has gone from Elvis to Tom Jones? Well, either way, there's a whole lot of shaking going on. A man resembling Santa Claus was arrested in the Florida Keys last week, and while spring and summer are vacation time for the jolly old elf, we know for a fact that the arrestee was not actually Santa Claus, but Fidel Guitero Gonzalez Guterres. The 58-year-old white-bearded man was arrested on six outstanding warrants for selling cocaine. We know Santa doesn't use cocaine to fly. He uses magic beans. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. For more weird news anytime or to download my free app, visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar.